So in this Power World video, I'm going to be showing you all 10 different locations that have some of the rarest pals at them. There are pals out there too that you can only find at night at specific locations. But yeah, hope you all find this enjoyable and it ends up helping you out in some kind of way. Let's go ahead and get into these. So I want to start this off with Frostallion, one of my favorite pals that you can get. This thing is an absolute beast. I mean, it's not the best to have around at your base, but man, this is like the most overpowered pal that you can get your hands on. It'll be located way up here on the map. Yeah, when you eventually get over here, you will find Frostallion down on this ice. And check this out, when I finally captured it, here's the skills that it came with. It came with Legend, which gives it 20% more attack and defense and movement speed. It also came with Ice Emperor, which this is a 20% buff to ice attack damage. And also has Sirius on it, which this increases work speed by 20%. And it also had Earthquake Resistant, 10% decrease incoming Earth damage. I think I might have just got lucky with these passive skills that it came with, but I'm not for sure to be real. And as you can see, it just has cooling level 4, which is great if you're needing cooling. Having it at level 4 is definitely beneficial, but yeah, if you're not really needing it, mainly this uh, pal is going to be used for attacking things and to get around with. Because you can ride it, and it is a flying mount. And when you are riding it, it enhances ice attacks and changes the player's attack to ice too. Anyways, next up, most of you probably already know about this one, but I had to add it in this video just because it's a valuable one to get your hands on, and that is Jet Dragon. But just in case you don't know where it's located at, it's located right over here in the volcanic environment. Jet Dragon is a great pal to get your hands on. It's one of the best as well that you can possibly get in the game. This thing is an absolute beast, and it's a flying mount, and when you are riding it, you can rapidly fire a missile launcher when you're mounted to this thing. So yeah, it's pretty devastating. It can shoot out a bunch of missiles. But for its work suitability, it only has gathering level three. So it's not really that beneficial to be just hanging around at your base. Of course, this is mainly meant for attacking and getting around. All right, so this next location that you wanna look into will be located right up here. It will just state Palladius. However, keep in mind, there's gonna be two different powerful pals that you'll encounter when you come over here. You'll find also Necromus as well which is like the dark variant of Palladius, pretty much. They're really identical, they just have different elemental powers. And they are super powerful. Definitely recommend trying to get these pals. There's gonna be two really powerful pals up here that will fight you together, so yeah. It's no walk in the park coming up here. These are just as tough as taking on Jet Dragon and Frost Alien. But if you do manage to get a hold of them, as you can see, here's what they'll do. Palladius's partner skill is that it can be ridden and it can triple jump while mounted so yeah you get quite a bit of extra jumps with them also he has lumbering level two and mining level two and he is a neutral type as for necromus he can also be ridden however he can only double jump he can't triple jump like palladius also he has lumbering level two and mining level two for his work suit ability and this is a dark type pal definitely some powerful pals to get your hands on so now we've covered the best mounts to have on land to traverse around which in my opinion are these guys palladius and necromus personally like Palladius more just because of the triple jump. But yeah, we've also covered the best flying mounts, which are Frostallion and Jet Dragon, in my opinion. Now let's cover the best water pal, and that is Jormatide. This guy is located right up here on the map. When you get over here, he is going to be a pretty tough fight. You don't technically have to have a legendary sphere to capture him, so keep that in mind. So yeah, once you do capture him, congratulations. You got one of the best water mounts that you can possibly get in Power World. I'm also going to be showing you all how to get a fire variant of Jormatide, which that's called Jormatide Ignis, further in this video. So stay tuned for that if you're looking for a fire variant of Jormatide. But yeah, as you can see, he can be ridden to travel on water. And while mounted, it prevents stamina depletion while moving over water. So... Yeah, you don't ever have to worry about slowing down when you're on water with him traveling around. Also, he has watering level 4, which, you know, level 4, of course, is freaking amazing to have on a pal. So, yeah, he is a beast water pal. And uh, here is actually Dormatide Ignis. He's going to have kindling level 4. So this guy will help you if you need some kind of fire at your base, such as, like, for smelting. He definitely speeds up the process. And Dormatide, of course, speeds up the process for things that you need done that involves watering. But yeah, carrying on here, now I want to get into specifically the bees, which you can find some of them right around here on the map. You can find a bee over here, as well as bee guards, which these are some crucial pals to get because they'll produce you honey, which you have to use honey to make cakes to breed in Power World. 
But yeah, you can also find some other pals over here, such as Masandas and uh, these Gora Rats or whatever. Yeah, you can find these over here too. But I specifically just want to spotlight the bees over here because they are really important to get. Once you get them, as you can see, this is what the bee guard will do. You can assign it at your ranch and it'll produce honey for you over time. And you know, the honey that you get, just stock up in your chest to have it available whenever you are gonna make cakes to breed. They also have a lot of work suitability. They got planning level one, handiwork level one, lumbering level one, medicine production level one, transporting level two, farming level one, and gathering level one. So yeah, they can pretty much do it all. They are definitely working busy bees. And as for Elizabeth, bee, this pal has planning level two, handiwork level two, lumbering level one, medicine production level two, and gathering level two. So yeah, her work suitability is a little bit higher leveled than the bee guard. However, keep in mind, she doesn't produce honey at a ranch. It's just the bee guards. Anyways, next rare pal in this video is over Lavander. This one spawns around in this vicinity and you can only discover it at night around in a sandy area. This is one of the areas where you can find it at night at. There's another sandy area as well besides just this area. But yeah, this is an early place you can go to to get Lavander early. She is number 69 for some reason. And her special skill is the vampire effect. She absorbs health from her enemies and returns it to us and her. And yeah, her work suitability is handiwork level two, medicine production level two, transporting level two, and mining level one. One of the more rare pals to get since you do have to discover her at night at specific locations. All right, so next pal is over how to get Quivern early. As you can see, you can find a level 23 Quivern over here. There is another location where this pal can spawn at, but it might be a little bit more difficult to get because it will be a higher level. Finding Quivern at only level 23 is definitely beneficial because you'll be able to, you know, weaken it and capture it at a lower level than usual. So yeah, how you can get this pal pretty early is whenever you die, I'll just go ahead and respawn here real quick. And when you respawn, just choose to respawn at this island here. You can choose to respawn at multiple different islands. Yeah, just go to this one over here. Yeah, then you just traverse down to Quivern right here. Once again, it will be level 23, so you can capture this pal at a pretty low level. I decided to use a legendary sphere just to make it easier, but you don't have to use a legendary sphere to capture it. Keep that in mind in case you're worrying about that. And as you can see, this is a flying mount, and when you are flying on it, it enhances dragon attacks while mounted, and also for its work suitability as handiwork level 1, transporting level 3, mining level 2, and gathering level 2. So yeah, it's pretty decent in work suitability to help you out around your base. And it just looks awesome too. But yeah, anyways, the other location where you can find Quivern at will be located over here on this island. Actually, these next three locations that I'm going to be covering that have rare pals will be located at each of these islands that you can find around. However, Quivern specifically only comes from one, and that is the one next to the volcanic environment. But yeah, now let's go ahead and get into these islands and what all they contain. I'm not going to be covering every single rare pal that spawn on these islands because there's loads, but I'll be showing you quite a few that do spawn here. Just keep in mind to come over here if you're wanting to catch some more rare pals. Even if you know about these locations, you may not know what all exactly spawns on these islands because there's so many different rare pals that'll spawn here at different times. So yeah, let's go ahead and cover these. The first one I'll be covering is number one, Wildlife Sanctuary. That's what these islands go by. They go by Wildlife Sanctuary. At this area, you can find a Pen King here, which the work suitability on the Pen King is actually really good. It has watering level two, handiwork level two, mining level two, cooling level two, and transporting level two. So it's able to do quite a bit around the base. Anyways, this next one is Azerobe, which this is a good water slash dark type pal to have and at the base it can help with like watering your garden and stuff as you can see it has watering level three for its work suitability anyways carrying on here you can also find Veilet over here which just has planting level two handiwork level two gathering level two medicine production level three and transporting level one so another pal that can do a lot around the base you can also find Elphadrin. As you can see, this one has Lumbering Level 2, and it looks awesome. Keep in mind, this is a flying mount as well. You can fly with this guy. You can also find Grizzbolt over here. This is a great pal to have at your side. It's work suitability. It has Electricity Level 3, Handiwork Level 2, Lumbering Level 2, and Transporting Level 3. Very beneficial pal to have. And you can also find this unique Deer Terra over here too. This pal has Lumbering Level 2 and you can ride it. 
and you can also find Fatalia over here as well. Its work suitability is planning level 3, handiwork level 2, gathering level 2, medicine production level 2, and transporting level 1. So yeah, that's all of the rare pals. So yeah, that's all the rare pals that I ran across over here. There may be even more that I just didn't, you know, notice and name off in this video. But for the most part, I tried to show proof of each pal on this island and show what they do. So yeah, now let's move on to the next one, which the next one we're going to be covering is Wildlife Sanctuary number two, which is located over here. Over here, you can find Dormatide Ignis, which Dormatide looks incredible. Look at this thing. The fire variant of it has kindling level four for its work suitability. And it's just a powerful pal in general to be using against other pals. It can do some serious damage, especially when you ride it because it's fire attacks enhance. Like I mentioned before in this video, I was gonna show you where the fire variant of Dormatide spawns at. And well, this is where it spawns at. But anyways, you can also find Incineram Noct over here. And this dark pal has handiwork level two, mining level one, and transporting level two for its work suitability. There's also Wumpo Botten over here, and this guy has great work suitability. As you can see, it has planning level one, handiwork level two, lumbering level three, and transporting level four. Yeah, this guy all around is a great pal to have around your base, I'd say. And you can also find Warsect over here. This ground slash grass type pal has planning level one, handiwork level one, lumbering level three, and transporting level three. For its work suitability. Now for the next location, let's go over the Wildlife Sanctuary 3 and some of the pals that you can discover over there. Wildlife Sanctuary 3 is located right here. Over here you could potentially find Blazemut. This guy is super powerful. It can be ridden as well to enhance its attacks and its work suitability is kindling level 3 and mining level 4. This is the perfect pal to have around your base, especially if you're mining and smelting. He can do it all. He can mine and he can smelt the ore down to ingots and whatnot. And you can also find Shadowbeak over here at Wildlife Sanctuary 3. There seems to be a lot of powerful pals over at Sanctuary 3. They are higher level too over here. I will uh, mention that. But yeah, Shadowbeak is a powerful dark type flying pal that you can put a mount on to fly. And yeah, its work suitability is just gathering level one. This pal is mainly meant more for battling and getting you around the map rather than just hanging out at your base. And crazy enough, you can also find over here at Wildlife Sanctuary 3, Astagon. This guy is a powerful dragon slash dark type pal. Personally to me, one of the coolest looking pals in the game. And you can ride this guy too. He is a flying type pal as well. And its work suitability is handiwork level one and mining level four. Definitely a crazy pal to get your hands on. And when you do start flying with him, of course, like most flying pals, the damage is going to increase when you are using him to fly. Anyways, you can also find Lylene over here. And this is a great pal to have around your base. My goodness. As you can see, the work suitability on this pal is planning level four, handiwork level three, medicine production level three, and gathering level two. All around, a great pal to have around. You can also find Phalaris over here the firebird and this one has kindling level three and transporting level three pretty solid pal to have around for smelting and transporting the goods also this one is incredibly powerful and it's nice to be able to fly on it to get around as well i've also seen orsirk over here this is a very powerful electricity pal and it has handiwork level two transporting level three and generating electricity level four for its work suitability so yeah, this is another level four pal that you can get your hands on over here. There's also Fanglope. I believe I pronounced that correctly. Sorry if I didn't. Sorry if I mispronounced any of these words. I'm not really used to saying a lot of these, <laughs> to be real. But this pal can double jump while being ridden, so that's something pretty unique about it. And for its work suitability, it has lumbering level two. So not too much it can do around the base, unfortunately. You can also find Bushy over here too. I really like the way this pal looks. It's gotta be one of the coolest looking ones in my opinion. But yeah, this one is really great to have around at the base too. It has kindling level two, handiwork level one, gathering level one, lumbering level three, and transporting level two. It can do a lot. It's beneficial having around. And lastly, you can also find another Incineram Noct, which we could find this one at another sanctuary too. So yeah, anyways, that's all that I discovered on the islands. I'm sure there's even more that you can discover on there, but just wanted to point out and prove to you with footage that all of these are possible to get over on the islands. 
Like I mentioned before though, there are plenty more that'll spawn here. I didn't show every single one that spawns on these islands. So yeah, be sure to check them out if you're looking for some rare pals. But yeah, I guess that's wrapping up this video everyone. Hope you all found this enjoyable and it helped you out in some kind of way. I'm out of here though. As always, thanks for taking the time, watching, and listening. Until next time, peace.